Hi there. We've had a morning of uh, chaos trying to get everybody yeah. online, and it just seems like it's you and I today. Yeah, that's fine. Technical difficulties are a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hopefully, Ina can join us a bit later, but uh, let's get the show started. Um, I don't yeah, know. No, that's cool. You know, I've had a, a whole bed yesterday already. I, I posted the wrong, uh, first thought, the wrong uh, uh, heading, and then I posted the wrong medium, and I got lots of uh, shouting directed my way. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you do things at 4 a.m. Yeah, I know, that's true. But, you know, focus on the good. It had, a, it had a, a good turnout. A lot of people participated, which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, we all learned a little bit about Picasso. <laughs> and uh, different uh, chapters were also uh, done, um, different styles and everything, which was also quite cool. Yeah. Um, you said you've done some research on Picasso this week instead of taking part. I've done a little bit of research. Uh, instead of taking part in, in the actual uh, co colorful uh, paintings? Yeah, um, you know, as I'm a, a sketch artist, um, charcoal, pencil, I don't work in color. I've tried, I've dabbled, but uh, it's, it's not something I enjoy. And if I'm not enjoying art, it's, to me, it's pointless. So I was, I was a silent observer this time. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Let's, let's see what we've come up with the observations. Um, I'm trying something new on the screen over here. I've basically got our, our Facebook page over here. And then um, I've got our Instagram and I've loaded everything sequentially as people have um, uh, loaded it onto the group. Um, as you can see, somebody had a jump start to the morning by posting 15 minutes earlier uh, than they were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so we, we we have to disqualify Rensha. Uh, uh unfortunately uh, yes unfortunately yes um she got uh, 97 likes for her um painting no listen uh her painting was on point you can see that she you know followed picasso's earlier work um it's actually very beautiful you know it's, it's not a lot of colors but it's exactly what picasso was at that stage in his life i mean he was he was toned down you know so to speak and I think I think Ina Rensha captured, you know, Picasso's spirit quite well in this portrait. Yeah, um, and I like a reference photo there as well. Uh, okay, let's continue. Um, let's scroll along here to somebody else who we got here. Um, this is uh, Waira. Mm -hmm. Very colourful uh, photo. Um, Yes, I like it. I'm trying to understand the interpretations that people are doing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not very good at the abstract, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, I, you know, what I see is what I, you know, I like. What I see, I can't explain why I like it so much, but I do like it. It's just I, I think the colors match perfectly. <laughs> yes, but I, I can't tell you why I like it. I, that's that's the thing with abstract. Um, I think Picasso had a thing about squint eyes because a lot of them have got squint eyes. Yeah. Uh, Sinclair, Annie Sinclair, has her uh, entry. Um, also one of uh, Picasso's more famous styles. Did, did, mm -hmm. did, did you find out what uh, part of his life this one came out of? Uh, I would say probably late. I mean, with uh, with Picasso, it was quite strange. When he started out with these with these art, he started out, you know, like standard, you know, realism, you know. And then he just kind of deviated. He went through a blue period where he only used blue paint. Um, yeah, he just he just he got uh, I don't know. He got more abstract as he went along, and with that, he actually became more famous because he was introducing ideas that has never been seen before. Example is uh, cubism. Um, and this, yes. uh, this, uh, this painting is actually a very good example of, of cubism. Everything's yes. in a cube. And it was never seen before. It took the world by storm. And yeah, uh, <laughs> this was like, I, I think I, if I remember correctly, it was like in the 50s that this really started taking off. Okay. And yeah, he started, he started a movement. I mean, he influenced all the artists of today. Even. I mean, it's, it's crazy. 
uh, Jeanette's uh, damn it. Uh, Jeanette's um, you can see this is this is with uh, this is um, inspired by his his blue period. But now this this and the past one looks like a mixture of two different uh, Picasso styles, which a lot of people didn't do. They kind of stuck with one thing instead of mixing mm. different parts of it. Although this could yeah. this could be like the earlier part where he did the um, um, self portrait. And then a mixture with mm. the with the blue, you know. Yeah. Mm. You know, many artists back in the day they used to evolve, but with Picasso he evolved in leaps and bounds. I mean, <laughs> you evolve slowly. Picasso didn't evolve slowly. He he tried everything. He changed everything. In you know in a relatively short amount of time. Sure. Um. Because he was born in the late eighteen hundreds, and I think he died in the nineteen sixties. Uh, and in his life, yes. I mean, the the you know the different types of art he went through. Yeah. This painting by Sita de Toy has really worked very well. She's done it so confidently. It's whimsical. It's naive, and it's beautifully colourful. Um, I like this one. This is actually quite nice. It's quirky. This style of his with these little dots on the person's stomach, I've seen it on three photos. It's, I must actually find out what that means. Well, what's the symbolism yeah. behind it? Yeah. Uh, Rensha did mention to us this was one of her uh, choices. Yeah. Mm. Well, maybe, you know, like in the comments, people can actually just, you know, comment and let us know uh, any facts that they might know of Picasso and why people use certain aspects of his you know his work in theirs and you know it'd be actually quite interesting we can start a thread and we can just you know discuss Picasso that'd be quite cool exactly exactly um yeah I think people must add start adding their comments in the thread uh in the comments as you say mm. um yes. this painting looks like a famous uh, person but I don't really want to mention that now uh I don't think this is the place to talk about that mm -hmm. <laughs> you get where I'm going. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I really. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll tell no. you. <laughs> it went way over my head. <laughs> uh, don't you think it uh, looks like the yellow man? The orange man? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's yellow on my screen. Uh, you, you don't think it looks Oh, like I know who you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm with you now. Yeah. I'm with you now. When I saw this first, I'm like, yeah. wow, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I say, hey, that's a dead giveaway there. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, uh, Melinda Brummers. Um, this is actually very interesting, Graham, this one here. This is actually uh, an actual portrait of uh, one of uh, Picasso's portraits. And it looks like um, she actually, I wouldn't say uh, copied it, but um, it's very, very similar to one of Picasso's drawings, uh, one of his paintings. Also during Blue Period, uh, yes. one of his more famous paintings, actually. Okay. Uh, the name escapes me of the painting. Uh, well, this one got yeah. quite a lot of likes um, as well. Mm. I think it's because it's in instantly recognizable as well. It's very well, well painted, but it's also very uh, recognizable too. Okay. Yes, yeah, uh, last week's uh, winner, uh, Lois Fisher, her Picasso that she's done. And I can definitely also very nice. I can definitely see Lois in this picture, especially the hair mm -hmm. and the big <laughs> smile as well. I just love that all the all the different shapes that were used that actually comes together very well. Yes, it's, it's, uh, and it's very and the, aesthetically pleasing. And the colors as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chantal, Chantal uh, posted two images, which um, mm -hmm. they are her kids. This the one kid looks like he's the the funny one because that looks like a clown. Yeah. And you. You can see there's a lot of thought and a lot of um, you know looking behind the scenes into this. This is not just a simple throw together. This is a lot of thought, a lot of effort, a lot of thought. And you know that's what I appreciate the most. You know, 
And, you know, a lot of people are not going to be, you know, technically on par with everybody else. But, you know, the amount of effort you put in, it shows in any artwork. And that's that's what really, really grabs me. Uh, and remember, the goal of this uh, challenge was to um, use his ideas to represent yourself. Mm -hmm. And this is a success. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, you can see this is definitely influenced by Picasso. Is Lin Linda Russo? There's another blue period. Yes. Um, now, this is very good. When, on your research, the blue period was, was he limited to a few shades of blue or different hues of blue or? Yeah, um, it was mostly blue. Um, I think it was, I, I, I don't want to get the dates wrong. You guys are going to crucify me in the, in the comments, but um, I think it was the very, very early 90s and it lasted maybe like four or five years where he was into, you know, the blue period. You just use shades of blue. And in fact, you know, everything was a variant or a shade of blue. It looks like you'll use black or you'll use red or whatever, whatever, and like little sparkles, like little spots of his, of his painting. But meanwhile, if you look closely, it was basically all blue or variants of blue. Very interesting. I and mean, we all know that blue, you know, you know, kind of signifies depression. So, you know, who knows what he was going through at that time? Maybe he was depressed. He couldn't get other colors. <laughs> so, yeah, other colors weren't invented yet. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Uh, Joseph Donnelly. Terrible. <laughs> um, what's interesting is that I think we've got a, less than a handful of guys participating over here. Yeah, that's actually true. Eh? Um, it's nice to see the guys participating. But... Yeah, uh, Joseph, uh, this is, I think he even, he's taken part the texture of, of all of them. One. Yeah. Also the blue period. I love the texture. Yeah. Let's see what our next one is. This one's very interesting. Oh, this one's fun. This one actually instantly makes me happy. I don't know. <laughs> it just it looks it looks fun, almost like pop art. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I, I mean, trying to it looks modern, you know. Yes, and but obviously with a bit of um, you know Picasso influence. But that's the whole thing. The stark lines. Yeah, I like it. You know, you got to use his influence, but come up with new ideas, mix his different things. Yep. I also feel that the two winners from the previous challenge should really just be commended for what they did now. Both of their entries were absolutely stunning paintings, Picasso like paintings and um, very successfully achieved. So I think, you know, just a short little note to that effect would be nice that they also, you know, they, they can't win now, but they did really well. Uh, Karine Forbes. Now this one is interesting. This one is very interesting. I mean, you've actually combined two here. You've got the cubism and you've got the blue period. Yes, yes. And there might even be more periods that I don't even know of yet that's, you know, incorporated into this painting. It's actually very, very nice. Very thought, very well thought out. You don't think the background is one of his styles as well? Uh, it's possible. I haven't researched that deep. But what, I, what I, you know, it could, you know, very well be. He changed his, his methods so often, so it's actually very possible. You're actually making me want to go do some more research on Picasso, which is actually quite great. I mean, this guy is, he, he's never going to die. He's, he's immortal. As long as we talk about him, as long as we appreciate his work. He's immortal. Abigail Schultz, uh, another of Rensha and Inna's favorites. This painting by Abigail Schultz is tremendous in its achievement of color. Um, and the background is all cubist. It's cubist as well. Um, she really did achieve to do a profile in the same painting as a, um, a frontal face portrait. Um, I think only three other people actually achieved that. So I think that she really, really did very well. I love this one. It's pleasing. It's bright. It's colorful. Um, okay, nice. I also like it. Um, very colorful, eh? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, yes, Ella Marais. Um, uh, voluptuous. Uh, yeah, I like it too. It's, you know, instantly recognizable as a Picasso. 
this could have actually been one of Picasso's works. Very, very, very good. I like it. Definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, Alter Swart. I just love. I just love how Picasso also did this whole, um, you know, front portraiture and then profile portraiture in one picture. I just, I just love how he did it. And I see a lot of people also, you know, enjoying that style and emulating him. It's nice to see. But now, if you look carefully, I mean, if you look at the lips, you can definitely see it's two separate lips. So, do they share a? Um... Is it supposed to be one person, different angles, or is it supposed to be different personalities in a person? Could be both. Could be both. Who knows? <laughs> um, Winnie Schultz. Now, I wonder if she's related to Abigail Schultz. We need to find that out. <laughs> so in this painting, I see a horse. A horse? Yeah, look at the bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's this is very a... abstract. This is this is <laughs> colorful, abstract, and yeah, you know, definitely you've got that whole, you know, line down the middle, the profile, the portrait. Yeah, it's a Picasso, definite. <laughs> but now look what I mentioned. You see the the it, the face is sharing a profile, yeah. but they're actually sharing uh, they're not sharing mouths. Yeah. Um, the only the only thing that they're really sharing is our noses. Ella Marai and um, Elsa Bay Luce's paintings were also um, very successful, very beautifully done. Um, also, all in the Cubist period, and um, I didn't mention those because I know that they were mentioned before on our group. I think the. Um, those were the ones that I remember Craig liked, the one by Elsa Bay Luce, and um, the Ella Marai one was also mentioned before. They were both beautiful. So these were my three choices plus those two. And then, of course, there was the one in the blue period, but it's so difficult to judge the blue period along with the Cubist bright period. Um, the, the blue period one is the one that Rencha posted earlier. Okay, this one is from LCB what? Loose lace. How do you how do you pronounce that surname, Graham? Uh, as you said it. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this is my personal favorite of the whole bunch. Um, I think I have told you already. Um, okay. I, 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 you know, the picture itself is very, very good. I just love that you know the frame was put into it. And yes. not only that, it was actually it's almost like a 3D effect because she's coming out of the frame. Yes, Those yes. little things, you know, like attract my attention. So this, yeah, this would be, this would be my pick for, uh, you know, winner this this round. Very, very interesting. I, I didn't even notice those things you're bringing up now. But yeah, very cool. <laughs> um, Rina Eckhart. I like it. Very pop arty as well. Yes. Nice Instantly noticeable. Uh, I think the use of colors was very good, yeah. This is lovely. This is actually very sweet. I like this. This is also blue period. Oh, wow. You know, this 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 also has a bit of uh, Van Gogh um, influence, if I'm not mistaken. I just get a bit of a Van Gogh feel here too. And a lot of thought into the painting and the model itself. Yeah, I know. It's actually, it's, it's flawless. Eh? Very good. Uh, Yes, Sam's uh, portrait. Lovely use of colors. Mm, I love the color. Now we don't see much yellow. Eh? There's been actually very few yellow being used. That's all yeah. I could see. I like the shadings. Yeah, the color usage is beautiful. Yeah, it's very, also very nice. blue period. You think this is from the blue period? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think this is, uh, you know, if you if you had to, you know, put this painting back in the day, it would be a blue period. Um, maybe that, you know, this person is sitting next to a candle. That's why the yellow, you know, because uh, of the, you know, the the lighting and all that. Okay. Very nice. Uh, yes, Estes Eaton's um, blue period. I'm guessing. Mm, definitely, I like it. Definitely, you can see Picasso's influence. Also, uh, one of my favorites as well. 
No, this is different. This is Cheryl. Um, this is a lot of work. Look at all those little details. Uh, Cheryl, why are you crying? Um, <laughs> I've met Cheryl, and I must say this this is this suits Cheryl to a T as a self portrait. Um, yeah, but I'd like to know why she's upset, crying. <laughs> <laughs> um this is Marguerite oh, wow. Victorious. Oh. This is one of yeah. my favorites. Um, and she's actually a new uh a new member. She's just uh oh, this, wow. is, this is her first entry. Oh wow, uh, well, she definitely found her home, yeah, that's for sure. Now, this is like a modern Picasso, if you ask me. It's uh yeah. it's it's definitely like almost like an enemy anime kind of vibe yeah i feel i feel a lot of emotion even just looking at it there's a lot of emotion involved here yeah. and it's also instantly recognizable as a picasso influenced piece yes but the emotion is what grabs me the most mm, we're going on to our last few of the uh as petra Ninaba. also very nice i like the use of yellow yellow is one of my favorite colors so i, I like thought, it i thought black was your favorite color <laughs> <That's dark, Graham. laughs> um i really love this one i think she's um very descriptive and there's lots of emotion and i love the color scheme it was in during his blue face that he used these colors and i also like the little bit of warmth that she added in the background so there's a nice balance between warm and cool and I like the wistful look, you know, if you look at a face, sad, pensive look, um, and that's my choice. I also like the composition very much with the hands leading you into the picture. Um, the eyes are very soulful and it's just beautiful for me. Uh, I like this as well. A lot of them are in thought. Also blue period. Yep. Uh, sorry, wrong button. And it's nice to see how the blue uh, works so well with the background, that like reddish burnt umber in the background. Very nice. That's it for challenge 156. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, we had a bit of a glitch through this entire video, but I think it came out quite nice. Uh, please share this with your friends. Share it on your pages. Share the links. Let's, let's grow this group. Appreciate your support. Looking forward to the next challenge.